The golden arches, the smell of soft, meaty hamburgers, and those crispy, delicious fries. McDonald's. The name is so familiar, so entrenched in American society that it's impossible to disassociate it with its imagery. Everyone born after 1980 grew up with McDonald's around the corner or down the street. From its slogan to its Happy Meals, McDonald's came to represent everything that was great about dining in America. Fun, wholesome, affordable food served hot and fast. But in the last decade, McDonald's has fallen very far off track. Though the fast food giant will be closing hundreds of locations this year, it still thinks it's ahead of the game. From out-of-touch executives to subpar food, here are the five reasons McDonald's could be on the brink of failure. Founder Ray Kroc didn't invent McDonald's, but he was responsible for the big business overhaul of the McDonald Brothers Simple Restaurant concept, a counter serving burgers, fries, and drinks. Kroc's mantra was quality, service, cleanliness, and value. But over the last 60 years, it seems like the company has repeatedly chosen efficiency over ethics and price over quality. McDonald's employs nearly 2 million people, but pays many of them minimum wage, while executives of the company make millions. Tens of thousands of protesters have been fighting to force a change. The company's only response has been to raise wages by about a dollar an hour for employees of company-owned stores, which is just a fraction of its total unit count. It's no surprise McDonald's has come under attack for its high-calorie meals, lack of healthy options in its Happy Meals, and serving size. From its french fries, which contain 19 ingredients, to foreign objects found in its McNuggets, and the fact that they're still using antibiotics, McDonald's food quality has become increasingly awful with a menu that's a far cry from wholesome. Earlier this year, the company announced a massive restructuring plan headed by its new CEO. But in the 23-minute address, there was no mention of McDonald's food. This is a global turnaround. It was only later that news broke of McDonald's grand plan to win back customers. It would warm up its hamburger buns for an additional five seconds. Based on its last decade of operations, McDonald's has breached a dead end. The company promised it would never serve kale, and then served kale. The Hamburglar and Ronald McDonald are back, except now they kind of look like hipsters. The truth is, McDonald's customers have been fleeing to modern, sustainably-minded chains like Chipotle for years. It seems like everyone is upset with McDonald's today, from its vendors and franchisees to its customers and employees. Unless it makes an about-face, McDonald's may lose its place at the top of the American food system.